Greetings and salutations, my friends. Welcome to a brand new series on the channel. This is called How to YouTube. I'm just going to cover every single aspect of running, creating, starting, owning a YouTube channel. Um, it's going to be a long series. We've got tons to cover. I'm going to basically brain spill my brain juice into your ears and eyes. <laughs> okay, that's okay. We'll move on from that. But basically give you every bit of information that I've ever learned that's helped me along the way. Um, I'm also going to provide links and stuff to various different articles and everything in the descriptions. And once the video series is finished, what I'll do is in the description of this video, I'll post a link to all the different videos and everything like that. But to give you an idea of what we're roughly going to cover, this is a sort of spread, a very basic spreadsheet I made up when I first sort of thought of the idea. So, so we're going to be talking about how, how to create the channel, like branding and channel name and all that sort of thing. We're going to talk about hardware and software, programs that are really useful, websites that are really useful, different programs and stuff, what you need to get set up. And then talk about the more sort of what you should make in videos, like um, your, your sort of finding your style, how long should videos be. And then we're going to talk about SEO, how to make sure that your videos, that is one of the sort of most underused parts of YouTube. It's all well and good making an amazing video, but what you need to do is make sure that YouTube and people can find that video. So SEO is massively important. And then we're going to talk about sort of the expectations of the first six months. This this YouTube series is going to be for any any sort of channel. I, I personally have a gaming channel where I do some vlogging occasionally and stuff like that. But most of this information is going to be useful to running any sort of channel. Um, and then we sort of talk about the expectations and the YouTube algorithm, how it works and stuff like that that and then talk about marketing talking about social media reddit forums all that sort of good stuff exciting stuff then probably i'd say what people find the least interesting which is youtube analytics um it can be quite confusing for a new person so we're going to be talking about going into depth sort of describing the important parts there's lots of figures and numbers and graphs you can look at on youtube analytics but there are certain ones that are really the important ones to sort of stick to and then we talk about making money on youtube you know um whether that's ad revenue or whether that's patreon um or merchandise how to do that and all that sort of stuff because um and then we're going to talk about Things other, other aside from YouTube, like maybe perhaps creating a second channel. When do you do that? Do you ever need to do that? Also things like streaming on Twitch. And then we're going to talk about one of the biggest, most important things of get, retaining an audience. And that is community and talking about likes, dislikes, answering your comments and all that sort of stuff and, and collaborations and everything like that. Then what I'm going to do at the end of that series, um, I'm not sure how many videos it's going to be. It depends how long I waffle on about all the various subjects. But um, at the end of the series, we're going to do a live Q&A, a YouTube stream where basically anybody can ask me questions that... Something might need a bit more explanation or I might miss something. So we're going to do a live Q&A, which I'll then upload as a proper video. Um, and the last thing, and this is where you guys can get involved, is we're going to, I'm going to do a case study. Now, basically what a case study is, is um, in the comments of this video, if you have a YouTube channel, um, I need it to be sort of somewhere that you've created at least, say, 50 videos, 30 videos... Um, it can be anything related, gaming, vlogging, whatever it is, you can news, whatever you want to um, create. But basically what you need to do is sign up to that. Just leave a comment of your channel and say, this is my channel. This is what I do. I need you to have had the channel for at least six months, creating videos for at least six months, you know, at least sort of 30 plus videos. And I will pick one at the end of the series to do a case study on. And a case study is basically me going through from top to bottom of your channel. There'll be one video where I just go through your channel from your and use all the things we've learned in these first however many episodes, 15 ish episodes and go through and see what we can improve on your channel. Um, you know, whether the thumbnails need work or whether the videos are too short or too long or or you're not finding the correct style for you personally and all that sort of stuff and see what you can do better. I will say just to make sure um, if you sign up to this, bear in mind that I will be very critical of your YouTube channel. So 
just bear that in mind. I'm going to be honest, so I'm going to say what parts I think really work well, what parts don't work so well, what needs work, in my opinion. And and I think it'll be a really useful sort of guide for then other people with sort of similar channels and similar. So you need to have been having a channel for at least six months and create, let's say, 30 videos-ish. Um, but leave a description. If you want to enter, just type in your details in the description. Say, I would like to be included um, in the case study. You know, I've made X amount of videos, blah, blah, blah. Just give you a, little, a brief like summary of what your channel is. And I'll take a look at them and then we'll pick one at the end. Um, also, like before, because there's lots of guides on YouTube and like anyone can make a guide on YouTube. Even if you're like the world's worst person at SEO, you could make an SEO guide. You could talk rubbish for hours and, and not be useful. So I thought as part of this first video, I'll give you a little bit of background on me so you can understand where I'm coming from and my experience. So because, you know, the question that might come up is like, oh, you know, you've only got 14,000 subscribers. You know, you should have, you know, why haven't you got a million, right? And so I wanted to sort of give you an experience. Firstly, mine's a gaming channel, which is by far the most flooded niche in the entirety of YouTube. There is a bazillion YouTube channels that do gaming stuff, uh, Let's Plays channels or reviews or guides or stuff like that. Um, and so... That is my niche so already, but I've only been going like a year and a half and I'm up to sort of 14,000 subscribers, which is for a gaming channel is pretty epic. It's pretty damn good. Like if you have expectations that you're going to get half a million subs in a year, it's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> so here's I'll just show you, for instance, here on this is Social Blade, um, socialblade.com. It's really good. You can look up anybody on YouTube to see their sort of growth and how they're doing. Um, so in the last sort of 30 days, I'm getting roughly 375,000 uh, views, not subscribers. That'd be nice. Um, in the last 30 days, um, up 20% on last month. And subscribers for the last 30 days is 1,273. Um, you can look at the sort of monthly statistics of a channel. You can do this for your own channel or look up mine or whatever it is. Um, on average per day, I'm getting 43 subscribers, which is pretty... I'm very, very happy with that, especially considering the niche of gaming that I'm in. I'm in like a niche within a niche, which I'll describe more in detail in future videos, because it's really important to, to realise this, is that my my backbone of my channel is Football Manager, which is a, a very small community. Like, I think the, 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 sing, the biggest channel that just does Football Manager is... I think it's worth the space with 50 or 1,000 subscribers. You know, there's not a Football Manager channel that has millions. And... I'm confident if I wanted to, I'm confident that I could build a channel that has a ton more subscribers. I could really pander to what audience likes, whether it be, you know, cleavage in, not my cleavage, but somebody else's cleavage in the thumbnail. You could, you could do lots, top 10 lists and all that sort of thing, if, if money that was all that you're after. But what I've done on mine is, and this is, this will go, I'll talk about this later as the first, my, my golden rule of, of, of YouTube, which is do what you enjoy. Because at the end of the day, if you're doing stuff that you, you're just churning out content because that's what you do and you're not enjoying it, it becomes a, a job. And it also, more importantly, comes across in videos. If you're bored of the game you're playing or the game you're reviewing or vlogging or whatever it is you do, makeup tutorials, whatever it is you do, if you're bored of that, it will, doesn't matter how good an actor you are, it will come across in the videos. So, you know, if I wanted to, I, I'm pretty confident that I could have a channel, you know, with maybe 100,000 subscribers in a couple of years. But that's just not what I wanted to do in my life. So apart from having YouTube now for a year and a half, and, and, and I'm also one of those people that when I get into something, I spend an immense amount of time, whether that's reading articles, watching videos, listening to podcasts, listening to audiobooks on how to be a better YouTuber and all that information. Um, I also have a background in entrepreneurship. I run two of my own companies. I do um, business consultancy as my part time job and sort of helping out small businesses and um, have building sort of two companies. One was dog based. Uh, I did all the branding for that company, all the SEO, so I learned all about the SEO. So I have other experience other than YouTube, which sort of helps you in that regard. Because at the end of the day, YouTube is Google, and Google is, well, everything, isn't it, really? So building a website and SEOing a website to make sure it gets found on the internet, 
is is very similar to how you do the videos so this is my channel you know it's growing really nice um talking about you know patreon and stuff like that and, and making money i have the best supporters in the world even with my small channel um of 14,000 subscribers I have a ridiculous amount of support in which in, actually pays me or supports me with eighty eight hundred and sixteen dollars a month on Patreon. And unlike most Patreons, I don't really give you anything. There's no exclusive content. There's no anything like that. I'll go into more detail about my Patreon and how sort of, my, you know, my strategy and the way I like to work in a future video. But... I think overall I've I've proved a success. I've got two almost 2.8 million views on my little gaming channel producing a video or two a day. Um I'm delighted with it. You can sort of see my branding as well which we'll talk about in the first video as you know the sort of stuff I like. But that gives you sort of a, an idea of me as my background and my experience and stuff like that. So there we go guys. Um the first video will be about finding the right name and branding and stuff like that and um, I'm hoping to upload these daily until it's finished and then do a live stream and then a case study um, like I said if you want to sign up to be a the case study um, then please leave a, leave a brief description in the uh, uh, comments below and I'll pick one of you at the end of the season at the end of the series just so we can talk through it I'll I'll maybe include you in a Skype call um, so we can chat about your ideas for the channel as well. I think that might be quite interesting. But I hope you're really looking forward to this. Please leave a like if you uh, enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new because there's going to be a ton of this sort of stuff coming out on the channel. I want to branch out from just pure gaming. I like instructional stuff and learning stuff. So hopefully you'll learn some things. I think even if you're an experienced YouTuber that's been doing it for a few years, I still think there's certain aspects that you'll find um, interesting. Like even if you talk to somebody like PewDiePie, who's got, you know, a number of subscribers and has been doing it for a long time, he's bound, I bet he says he has weaknesses in his YouTube content. I think, you know, nearly everyone's going to be able to find something out. I don't, I don't pretend to be the world's greatest knowledge on YouTube at all. That's why as part of my um, videos, I'm going to leave descriptions to other videos, to um, articles, to websites and stuff like that. And there's a few tricks of the trade in there as well. So I hope you'll join me on this journey. It should be a lot of fun. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.